What's going on everyone? It's RGB here again. Today, I'm going to show you how you can play Red Dead Redemption 1 early on your mobile device, even before the official Netflix version becomes available. Most of you already know that Red Dead Redemption is coming to both the Play Store and the App Store, but you will need a Netflix subscription to actually play it. Also, the release dates are confirmed for both the Android starting from the December 2nd and for the iOS users on 4th December this year before GTA 6. But for now, if you hit the Get or Pre-Register button, it only adds the game to your account. You still won't be able to play it. So, if you want to try Red Dead Redemption early, the only method right now is using a Nintendo Switch or the Windows Game Hub emulator. And in this video, I'll show you how to set up the Eden emulator on Android and run RDR smoothly. So let's get started. And the phone right now, you already know, is the Realme GT7 Pro, which is powered by the flagship Snapdragon 8 Elite with the Adreno 830 GPU. The phone has 16 GB of RAM with the fast UFS 4 storage, running on Android 15 system. And for this, you need the Eden emulator, which is currently on the latest version 0.4 RC2 build. And in this update, they have fixed a lot of graphical issues and bugs while emulating some titles. Also, if you have a good enough device starting from the Snapdragon 855 or 860 or above, it will run fine at minimum, and 8 Gen 2 or above for better experience and performance. I'll soon also test this emulator on different devices, including the Mali GPU devices. And here we have different versions here, legacy, standard, or optimized. I have already installed the legacy version for better stability and support. So here I have already installed the Eden Switch emulator. So let's open it. Let's get started. Enable permission. And here we need to import some required files to run this emulator. I'll provide the links on my channel group. So select the key file. Now select the firmware file. All right, it's imported successfully. Now here you need to add games. Choose the folder where you copied game files. Here select Deep Scan and OK. And we're all set. All right, so as you can see, the game has been imported. All right, so now on the top, go to Settings. Go to Advanced Settings, to System. Here disable Limit Speed. And leave Others to default. Now go to Graphics. So here is the main part. Here set resolution to 1x or even lower based on your phone performance. 0.5x or lower would be even better. As this phone is powerful enough, I'll go with 0.7 or 1x is enough. Here enable Disk Shader Cache. Enable Force Maximum Clocks. This only works on Snapdragon Adreno. Use Asynchronous Shaders. Here in VSync mode, set it to Mailbox. Set FSR Sharpness to 25% and set screen aspect ratio to stretched. That's it, so these are the graphics settings. Let's go to performance overlay, so here everything is set to default. FPS meter is enabled. Let's also enable the memory RAM usage. Now go to Eden's Veil. Here enable dynamic extended. This will improve more performance, especially if you are using a flagship device. Set value to three. And that's it, these are the settings. Also here enable custom CPU ticks and set ticks value to 4000 or 3000 range. And that's it. So these are the recommended settings. Leave all other remaining things to default. Let's go to app settings. Leave it to default. Now let's go to GPU driver manager. So currently it's set to Adreno system driver. But if you want more performance or stability, you can set an alternative driver. So right now, it's using a turnip driver from the Game Hub emulator. Or you can install it based on your device. In my case, I'm using 8 Elite, so I'll go with the latest Adreno 842 driver. Set the driver that perfectly works on your device. Or if you have no idea, just leave it to the default system driver. It will also be fine in most cases. But for me, this driver worked really well in my recent tests. And that's it, we are now ready. Now let's load the RDR1 on mobile. So we finally got the RDR1 running on Android Switch emulator before the release of the RDR Netflix version. Well, I already tested this game a very long back ago on a Snapdragon 888, which only got up to like 20 FPS on this emulator. But let's see how well this device pushes with the 8 Elite. 
All right, it's loaded. Now let's start the game. And there we go. We are going above 60 FPS in the intro. Now let's go to the real world. That's it for this test. Red Dead Redemption 1 is running really well on the Ada Elite using the Eden emulator. I'll soon also test it on more devices, including the Mali GPU devices, so stay tuned. And if you found the video helpful, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.